This is how we've created our super course on how to start a web design business on WordPress in terms of the course, the content without using any additional LMS plugin or tool or anything like that. And we've restricted the content until you've purchased a product. I'm going to take you through this really quickly and step by step. The first thing you've got to do is ensure that you've created a product. By the way, we are using WooCommerce here. It doesn't get simpler than this in terms of what you're doing. Now, this product product is something you're going to access online. So I've set it to be a virtual product. And of course, you sort out your pricing and anything like that. There isn't really much more I can say about it. That's literally it. Just go and create your damn product. Then go and install this free plugin, Page Restrict for WooCommerce. This is free. And this is what is brilliant about this. You cannot access that product until you've purchased it. OK, so I'm not having to use like a special LMS bit of kit or anything like that. This is free. Go and install it. And once you've done that, every page or post even on your website, you can lock it down. There's my module, how to start a web design business. And you'll notice down here, it says lock it with this product. OK, it helps if the page you're trying to access actually matches the name of your product. Otherwise, it could get messy. But this is literally it. You just get, I mean, look, I'll do it here. The login first does not have a product, but if I wanted to, I might go, okay, we're going to restrict it to be the test. Now, I do recommend you go and tick this as well, that not all products are required. I have found if you don't tick that, sometimes it doesn't work or it works, but it's not really the way you want. So make sure that you have ticked that. Let me just get rid of that, like what I've done here. And that's literally it. Then just go away and design your pages. So we have a landing page built purely in Elementor, blah, 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 blah. It's got all of our contents on there. We have buttons that will take you to the single product for that. Right at the top, there are two key buttons. If you click this one here, it's basically going to take you to the single product. But we also have a button here where after you've purchased, if you click that, it will now take you to the actual page where the content sits. So let me just explain that. This is linking to a page which is titled module hyphen how to start a web design business. That is this page. I haven't shown you this yet. So I've got a landing page and then I got this other page which says module hyphen how to start a web design business. And that's the page you would access once you've purchased the course. But as I've already stated, until you've purchased a product, because I locked it down using the page restrict for WooCommerce plugin. That is how amazing that tool is. So if you were selling courses, like say you had like 20 courses and then you went and built 20 separate pages like yoga, meditation, maybe you're teaching someone mathematics, Pythagoras theorem or whatever, you could now build it all in house without relying on an LMS bit of kit. Why am I saying don't use LMS? There's nothing wrong with LMS. However, if you're not overly fussed about quizzes and certificates and you just want to sell a course and then people can access the content, this allows you to have full on control over how everything looks and is presented back. So that entire course is built within Elemental Pages. I've got PDFs, I've got images, I've built in Canva and whatever I can stick videos in. I can do whatever I want here. And there's just one other thing you need to bear in mind. Make sure you've got the code snippets plugin installed, which I, you should already have if you're following the PageSpeed 2023 videos, what this bit of code does, and the link will be in the video description, is if anyone purchases a virtual product and they check out, this auto-completes it. Let me explain why. If you do not have it auto-completing, 20 people could buy it, but they can't access that page until you, the admin, have gone and said complete, complete, complete because the money's come in, the transaction has taken place. That can delay and annoy people, especially if it's a virtual product. If I buy a virtual product, I expect to be able to access it the moment checkout is complete, not wait 24, 48 hours. This code snippet now meets, says, if you are a virtual product, once you've checked out and it's completed, well, you know, the checkout's gone through, you can now access that module page. Was that simple or was that simple? Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, and go and sign up for how to start a web design business like you can access it once you've purchased it. See you soon.
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing.